What's going on YouTube? It's Daniel back at it again and today I wanted to show you guys how to make money on the Facebook marketplace. So this is kind of just a new strategy that I've come across in how to make some quick cash. And I know a lot of you might do retail arbitrage where you go out and buy certain items from Walmart or garage sales or you know thrift stores and then you sell them online on either eBay or Amazon. You basically just buy it for cheaper at the store or the shop and then you sell it online for the more expensive real price and make a little bit of money on it. So I've actually just been getting into that because I want to make some more quick cash so I can be able to start some more affiliate marketing campaigns and some more Amazon products. And I just recently stumbled across this new way of going on the Facebook Marketplace, which I've never done before, and finding things on there and basically doing the same thing as you would when you go find something at a thrift store, but instead you can just sit from the comfort of your own home and find them online. It's very similar to eBay or Craigslist, and you could find products on both of those. Facebook Marketplace is kind of cool because you can just go meet the person, you don't have to pay for shipping. It's kind of like Facebook's version of Craigslist, so... Without further ado, let's get into it. I'm just going to kind of run through how I search for items and how I would go about talking to the people that are selling them and basically want to just try to lowball them and try to get a really good deal on an item and then you just meet them up, pick up the item, give them the cash, and then you go quickly flip it on eBay. And yeah, so let's get into it. So we'd start off here. These are just a couple messages from recent uh, products that I messaged about. Also, I apologize for my voice, guys. I've been a little sick these past few days, so just bear with my scratchiness. But So I've recently been uh, saving a bunch of items. All these are saved at the top, so that's why it's all Xboxes and stuff. I found that Xboxes are really good, uh, really good items. Usually I go into this tab over here for electronics, and so as you can see here, there's you know a MacBook Pro, an Xbox One, Beats, iPhone, there's lots of stuff. These, obviously, some people will say for free, but it's really just OVO, which is or best offer, and they'll basically just take you know the best offer that someone gives them, and you can see this has like 400 views, so I'm guessing that those are already purchased, but... I could be wrong. So we'll just scroll through this a little bit and I kind of know the prices of certain items like I know the Beats Wireless are about that price on eBay and that's usually how I go about checking certain items is you just go on eBay and kind of you know find the most common or the average price that it sells for. So if we keep scrolling through here we'll just kind of pick an item that we can use an ex we'll just kind of pick an item that we can use as an example so what I'm actually gonna do here guys is I'm just gonna scroll through for a little bit and I'll just kind of fast forward so it's not too long for you guys and I will just make a quick Excel sheet and kind of put all the items in there with their price and then we can just go on to eBay and compare the prices and see if there's any profit to be made so I'll see you guys in a second Alright guys, I'm back. So I kind of cut the uh, browsing short just because it was taking me a really long time to find stuff. And part of that was due to the fact that I just went on earlier, about an hour ago, and basically, you know, cleared out everything that I found from the past week of listings. So it was a little bit harder than normal to find good offers. But new ones come out every day, so I would consider checking, you know, very frequently. 
if you can check daily because things go very fast. But I did find a couple of offers, so I kind of went back to the Xbox One. And another couple terms I like to do, so I like the Xbox One is good. Uh, PS4 can be alright. Or anything Apple. So if you got like, you know, MacBook or iPads. I don't really like to get into phones because the whole like, you know, carriers and stuff. And iPads can actually be restricted by a carrier. So make sure it's totally unlocked if you get it. Otherwise, it's a lot harder to sell if it's like, you know, locked to AT&T or locked to Verizon or something like that. But anyways, so those are kind of all good ones, or maybe some like Apple Watches, or Fitbit, any big brands, guys, like anything that's a big brand that people are, you know, constantly buying is really good. It'll sell really fast on eBay. So anyways, getting off track here, these are four offers that I found. So I found an Xbox One with games and two controllers for 200 an Xbox One for 100 which is actually really low. Uh, an Xbox One with five games for 180, and an Xbox One with two games for 150. So basically, where I would start is all obviously all of these Xbox Ones. I didn't write down if it was 500 gig or one terabyte, and they aren't one S's; they're just ones. So the best place to start, you just go on eBay and go Xbox One. You see, I already have 500 gig typed in, so I'll just leave it at Xbox One. And Basically the easiest way to do this is if you scroll down you have all these filters here. So if it's going to be used you can obviously click used and go to sold. So these are all going to be listings that have sold and it tells you the date that it sold. So this bundle right here sold for $200 on July 25th. This right here 130 and it goes on and on and on. So as you can see most of them are going for around $150 for just the console and a controller. This one is a little bit more. I'm curious as to why this went for $217. I guess this just went for more. So maybe I'm wrong. I kind of lowballed at $150, but. You know, anything from 150 to 190, 200 range is what these are going for. Here's one, $206. So I guess I was lowballing, but, you know, better to lowball than to high, highball it. And so, yeah, guys, this, you know, this went for 130 with no controller. And this looks in pretty good condition. So basically all these ones I found right here, and these are just what they're asking for. You could obviously bid you know, a lot lower, or try to talk them down, so you could come in with this guy and be like, you know, 120, and then if he says no, you could kind of, you know, play the the bidding game and try to find a, you know, medium between you guys, so maybe he would settle for 160, and you got $40 off, and, you know, Xbox One with games and two controllers, you can sell controllers probably for like 20 bucks a piece, shipping will probably be like 4 or 5 bucks, and then games, you can sell for like 10 a piece on average. So, you know, out of this whole thing, you sell, you know, two games for 10 bucks a piece minus shipping. So seven profit plus two controllers at, you know, 15 profit. So you're making like $14, $29 plus you sell the Xbox for, you know, 100 bucks. I guess you'd have to sell one of the controllers. So, you know, you're making pretty good money on this investment and I guarantee you it'll sell very fast if it's something along any of these lines you know big ticket items and big brand names you will sell it very fast so yeah this has kind of just been a short video about the new way that I've been utilizing to flip products and make quick money and Hopefully this can help a lot of you guys out because I know a lot of you are trying to get, you know, quick money to be able to start things like Amazon product or affiliate marketing or buy courses and, you know, we all want to do all these things. We need money to do it. And this is kind of just a quick way to, you know, get some quick capital and be able to start your ventures a little bit sooner than if you were just working a normal job and saving up. So I hope this helped you guys. And one last tip I wanted to give you is... It tells you where these offers are from. So 
Shelby Township, Michigan, Detroit, Michigan. So I would really, really recommend for any of you that decide to go through with either Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, just make sure that you meet in a public place and don't just go meeting some people, you know, at their house if it's in a bad area, you know, not to say anything about specific areas, but just be careful. You know, your your safety is nothing to risk for a couple you know, $50, $100 flip. So just make sure you're safe. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.